Monday past 40 miles per hour. I wouldn't be shocked if the uh, National Weather Service here in Las Vegas issues a wind advisory, uh, perhaps a, a high wind warning uh, for some parts of Southern Nevada. Uh, Kelsey McFarland will be on weather duties uh, this Saturday and Sunday morning. Leah Pizzetti will be in uh, the weekend evening as of course Danny Beckstrom will be here Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and we'll keep you apprised of this developing wind situation on Sunday. Big drop though from 75 Saturday to 63 on Sunday and that cool down sticks with us on Monday. Kalina as those breezes shift and come out of the north. All right, Justin, thank you. The Mint 400 returns to Las Vegas, and it is the largest and most important off-road race in the sport. Joining me today, Bryce Menzies, CEO. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm Matt Martelli. <laughs> I, oh, okay. my goodness. Bryce is my racer. Wow. So. <laughs> okay, well, good. we screwed that up, but it's okay because you're here, and we're going to talk about the event, which is great. Absolutely. Okay, so let's, um, let's chat about this. So this is a huge event here. Massive. Uh, kicks off uh, tomorrow. We mentioned that. Yep. So tell me a little bit about, about what people can expect and why this is going to be such a great thing for Las Vegas. It has a lot of history here. Yeah, it has a lot of history. This race started in 1968 here and one was one of the first races, uh, first off road races in the world. And and after the, the guys started the race here, a lot of people began to emulate this race and the Baja 1000 mm -hmm. um, and that spread off road racing all over the world. So people can expect a really big show. I mean, we've got a few hundred racers racing with us and mm -hmm. we average about 60,000 fans over the couple days so it's a big event with lots of racing. Um, our start finish is out at State Line at Prim and we've got um, a lot of things going on out there to entertain everybody including off-road racing. Um, this year we brought Super Hooligan Racing out so that's going to be at the start finish as well um, and you know lots of different stuff going on there but like like you were mentioning our week actually starts tomorrow with our desert cleanup. Um, so uh, we're doing that tomorrow. Welcome anybody to come join us and help us clean up the desert. And then Wednesday, we have our parade down the strip. That's gonna be a lot of fun, fun right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a kickoff party at Hogs and Heifers after that. And then Thursday, we have qualifying and our off-road um, festival down on Fremont Street, which is free and open to the public. Uh, Friday, uh, we have racing and our off-road festival going on, and then Saturday is the big race. So a packed That's week. A lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. There's not going to be a lot of sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Let's quickly talk about the history <clears throat> before we run out of time, because it has a lot of history here in Las Vegas. And also, let's talk about the preparation everyone has to go through in order to be a part of this. Sure. Well, the history is really cool. I mean, these guys um, uh, that were running the Mint Hotel back in 1967. Um, sent two cars from here to Las Vegas as a PR stunt and it worked so well that the very next year they created a race called the Mint 400 and it very quickly attracted some of the biggest stars in, in racing and motorsports, guys like Parnelli Jones um, who were huge at the time and then it started attracting celebrities and, and athletes and other racers and it grew and grew and grew into one of the most important races in the country. Um, and coincidentally, this guy showed up uh, in the 70s, I'm sorry, yeah, in the late 70s said, to this race and wrote a, a book and an article on it, which became Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So his name was Hunter S. Thompson. Wow. And it became a part of the American pop culture, right? That's so crazy. Yeah, it was really cool. And, and we've owned the race for the last 10 years and restored it to its former glory. That's so great. We're pretty much out of time right now, but thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. We're going to have all this information up on our website as well and have fun. It's going to be a blast. By the way, and shout out to all the female drivers out there, right. female racers out there. We'll be right back.